Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video, and we are continuing our Forge in the Barons review series, and we're on the last class warrior, where we'll take a look at every single card from the Forge of the Barons expansion, rate it on a five-star basis, five-star being a god-tier card, one-star being basically unplayable garbage you'd hate to put in your deck. And again, we'll be reviewing them for both standard and wild. So let's start off with War Song Envoy, one mana, one three, and it has Frenzy, gain plus one attack for each damage character. So if it survives any damage, it gets plus one attack for each damage character. Again, this includes like heroes. It's not just minions and it's a decent little one drop. It's no risky skipper. It's no risky skipper is a one mana, one three. It's a decent little option and like more of like a mid rangey aggressive warrior your deck i don't see that as much of like a really top deck i don't see this frenzy warrior coming together or if it is i don't think warsong envoy is a big part of it there's a resurrect legendary we'll get into where you don't really want to bring back just a little bit of a one three i think it's a decent card but not great i'm gonna give it two stars in standard a one star in wild because you're never playing this in wild in like any deck not odd warrior pirate warrior anything like that but it's an okay card, feels arena to me. Not really something you'll play too much on ladder. Next we have bulk up, two mana spell, give a random taunt minion in your hand, plus one, plus one and copy it. So this is some value. It's like two mana kind of draw a card, kind of get hand buff and it selectively buffs only a taunt, which can be very powerful. There's some powerful taunts to buff that we're getting in the set. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. And is this good? Is this value strong? Well, Warrior is kind of losing a bit of value. There's no lackeys left. You're losing Risky Skipper. There's a, it's Warrior's gonna look very different after the rotation. They still keep Brawl, but you know, Shield Block's gone. There's some value with like the new three mana spell that's in the core set, but Bulk Up, I don't know. These type of cards typically haven't really panned out. These like little value cards with a little bit of a buff, it, it, it's close. If Taunt Warrior is a thing, maybe you run this just as another card you have to answer. I'm gonna give it a three. I think it's sees a little bit of play warrior is going to be about the value control game and this can help with that and it can help your taunts live so i'll give it a three in standard in wild even in like where you have taunt warrior i don't think it pops up in that deck and that deck is not that great i don't think the support we're seeing here brings like quest taunt warrior back to like a meta ability but it's not particularly bad i'll give it a two for a while but again it's kind of more on that fringe fringe deck status so we have conditioning this is the ranked warrior spell uh give minions in your hand plus one plus one um at five mana it'll buff them to two plus two plus two and at ten mana plus three plus three Two mana plus one plus one is basically just the uh, the hand buff guide paladin, which saw a good amount of play in wild, not so much standard, and it gets better as you go along. Um, plus two plus two plus three plus three. They're not that impactful, but if you're running this whole top package, you're copying and you're just gonna do this giant hand buff strategy. Conditioning's relatively cheap. It scales well, and you can do some interesting stuff with it later. I think this taunt warrior thing can work, and I think conditioning might be a part of that. So I'm gonna give it a three. I don't think it's as bad as it seems. We've seen cards like the C play, and I, I just think it's it's okay. It's not it's not terrible, it's not bad, but Warrior needs something to do, and this might be it. So I'll give it a three, and in wild, again, too slow, not really doing a heck of a lot. I'm gonna give it a one. I just don't see it as a playable card whatsoever. Uh, next we have Rokara, three mana, two, three, rush legendary minion. After a friendly minion attacks and survives, give it plus one, plus one. So let's say like you have a one, one on the board and you play Rokara, the one, one, it attacks face, it's gonna survive that attack. It gets plus one, plus one, it's a two, two. Rakara, it attacks itself. It'll get, it'll buff herself, right? Because it, it says a friendly minion, any friendly minion. Uh, this, this, I see a lot of people really not sold on this card, but there's like a mid range, like frothing berserker type of like aggro strategy. This card can snowball and get out of control incredibly fast. Like that's a lot of buffs. If you have a lot of minions that are only going face or value trading, everything gets buffed on the board. It's just how consistently can warrior get on the board to take advantage of this? I don't know, but I'm going to give it a three. I think it's a solid little mid range like yeah frothing berserker type of deck card i think it's not bad and in wild it doesn't really make the cut i'll give it a two there as well and next we have outriders axe new warrior weapon four mana three three weapon after your hero attack and kills a minion draw a card so effectively this is four mana deal nine and potentially draw three but it can't go face right it has to kill a minion so i really love the design of it it kind of encourages you to trade but at the same time it's got a lot of attack and you can upgrade this with like craft 
blast knob and things like that it, it can be very powerful uh, this card just seems nuts like it's it's good in a controlish deck where you want to draw cards or if you're going into the fatigue game you can kind of manipulate how you're you're killing minions or going face or whatever i think it's really good this should be a staple in warrior going forward i'm going to give it a four in a wild maybe a pirate warrior can run this honestly a pirate warrior might be able to justify this if Ankar is not enough i've seen decks that run a multiple cards especially like sword eater but it does fall in that sword eater spot where you don't really want to play it i'll give it a two in wild it probably doesn't pop up too much you got cards like death spite and a lot of other amazing weapons that maybe this isn't that great but again drawing three i i might consider it my dead man's hand warrior it's that solid next we have rancor four mana epic spell deal two damage to all minions gain two armor for each destroyed so it's consecration or like a holy nova but if it murders it gives you armor and you could effectively get like 14 armor if you wipe an entire enemy board or i guess 28 in total if you kill a full board uh play it like that mad summoners imp thing that'd be pretty funny um it, it'll see play it's an aoe for for warrior that does armor gives you armor whether it gives it to you or not it's just a solid aoe four minute deal two's not bad get armor's good uh warrior like loves the aoe they'll run it it's gonna get a four for me in standard and honestly i could see it in like a dead man's hand warrior potentially but again Odd Warrior can't run it. Uh, I'll give it a two for a while. It probably doesn't make the cut, but it's a pretty cool card. Next, we have Whirling Combatant. Four mana, two, six minion, deal one damage to all other minions. That's a battle cry and frenzy. So this can do two whirlwinds effectively. And it's a two, six body. It's all other minions, doesn't damage itself. And this is just really good. This is a high health minion. So it's resilient. Um, the battle cry, I, I would think with just the battle cry alone, this is pretty freaking good. Like we have Ravaging Ghoul, three mana, three, three that dealt one and that's a really good card still sees play in wild today and for one more mana you get three more health you get an extra whirlwind on a frenzy which is likely to go off at six health this card's a solid really really good warrior card i'm gonna give it a four as well just awesome card in wild if it was odd cost i would give it a four but it's not odd cost and no other warrior deck's gonna run it so i'm gonna give it a two which makes me a little bit sad that warrior's so baku dependent in wild next we have martian elite five minute four four taunt battle cry if your hero attack this turn so i'm gonna copy this so this is the card that makes the hand buffing really good right you attack and you get a copy of it that keeps the buff whether it's the plus one plus one from like the taunt copy which you get two of these by the way you had a two five minute i guess ten tens right or you have like uh, feet of strength or whatever it's just really solid and you have cards like sword eater the new weapon all these ways to attack this card's nuts i think this card is really good you can't ignore taunt unless you're a demon hunter with kane and it's a lot of stats and they can get so many copies of it i'm giving it a four i think this sees meta play in warrior it just seems really good to me and then wild where it is odd cost you don't really attack too often in odd warrior um but this fits into a taunt warrior list for sure um like sword eater would definitely be good in like quest taunt warrior and i'm gonna give it three in wild like if you're playing that deck which again isn't really competitive but it could be it just give it the right support this card is really good in it and it would act although it doesn't act only the first one counts towards the quest it's just such a powerful effect i'll give it a three for wild it's just a really good card next we have stone mall anchorman five mana four five rush minion uh frenzy draw card so you're paying five mana for four or five that sometimes draws a card and removes the threat is that good not great but the next card is really good that can resummon it so that's what makes it kind of playable there's not a lot of amazing frenzy minions and not a lot of proactive ones and this is a proactive one you can resummon i'm gonna give it a three this card just seems not great on paper but i feel like we're underselling it and the fact that you can resurrect this is really strong it's a pirate there's some potential i'll give it a three in standard in wild you're not playing this in pirate warrior you're not playing this in odd warrior i'll give it a two but again not particularly horrendous and lastly this is the legendary minute keep talking about Overlord Sourfang, a five, seven mana five four, battle cry, resurrect two frenzy frenzy minions, deal one damage to all other minions. So it resummons them, and then it'll immediately damage them, giving them effect. So you get a Stomal Anchor Man. It will be a four four with rush, and it draws a card immediately. That's where that card gets good. Whirling Combatant does another AOE and that's really good like this card br bringing back just a couple of minions those type of minions is a very powerful effect you're basically getting a free aoe card draw rush all in one card i think it's a decent little package to throw into a control warrior archetype 
It's a pretty sweet card. Resurrecting Warrior feels weird, but it's happening. I'm giving this card a four in standard and a wild don't see it because it's just like, again, we keep talking about Baku and Pirate Warrior. That's all there really is out there. So I'll give it a two for wild, but really good cards. So there you have it. Those are the Warrior cards. I think Warrior's in a good spot. Their core set looks really good to begin with, and they're getting a lot of sweet stuff, mostly like this taunt buff, the new weapon. Warrior will be in a good spot with Risky Skipper leaving. That card has defined the class. So I'm quite excited to see what Warrior looks like going into the next rotation make sure to tune in later later today we'll have the neutral view that's like the third video today a lot of videos but we're getting ready for that expansion if you enjoy the video please like and subscribe have a great day and stay salty my friends